Now, I truly believe that you are here for a reason, and that is to enter the world of adulthood and become a true man of culture. I cooked up this video for you because I presume for, you know, the title itself, because you really need some etchy in your life. Don't you worry, I got you all covered with this, because here are 10 anime with insane fan servers, or simply called etchy. Hope you all enjoy. Starting things off with the Immoral Guild. Now, you probably only watch the show for the sake of enjoying female characters getting the spotlight because this anime has some extreme fan service. Now, pretty much the monsters in this anime show really odd behavior in the form of mainly targeting the female characters and begin to do naughty stuff as the characters fight against the monsters and fail miserably. And failing miserably, well, you'll find out when you watch. <laughs> but there really isn't much to say about the show, but just watch it for the glorious fan service and you should do just fine without your parents finding out. So make sure you lock them doors. You guys remember this Golden Harem anime a good few years back when it aired? Well, don't really expect an amazing protagonist, just witness great amounts of action and etchy combined together. <laughs> The protagonist really doesn't do anything besides getting protected all the time by the overpowered girls because they all love him and they all fall for him. Now the theme of the entire show involves kissing for powers and that is why they need Minato, the main character, for that part alone. But besides all that, it's nothing really that special. But if you do like Echi, because I'm sure you do, then you need to watch it. The greatest harem anime of all time, High School DxD. It just absolutely has no contest when it comes to having a perfect balance between etchy and harem and also a good storyline to cover. Everyone is still waiting for the next season, though it probably may not even happen since it's been quite some time now. Issei Yodo is the harem king, the man that easily gets the girls and gets laid on for fan service. You get best girl Rias, second class Akino, worst girl Asia, and also little sister or best little sister Koneko-chan. If you haven't seen DxD yet, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. You need to see it ASAP. This anime is quite special since it has a lot of high amount of etchy and fan service, full of hot demon girls for you to check out. <laughs> It gets really, you know, hot in the room sometimes, I guess. I mean, have you even seen the type of content Testament Sisters put out there for fan service fans? It's insane, I say. The big highlight over anything in the entire show. Sure, the action is there and the storyline is, is there, but it's kind of forgettable since you will always remember this anime for one thing only. <laughs> Cat Planet Cuties. What a title this anime has, am I right? So you got this cat alien girl from another planet who comes down to Earth to explore the inhabitants of this place and took a liking to an average loner boy who manages to sleep with the cat girl in bed. But the story does revolve around keeping the alien cat girl safe from shady organizations who want to capture her and, you know, discover what she's what she is and where she's from but all of that aside seriously just forget about all that and enjoy the happiest times of your lives right here in cat planet cuties you know because of the etchy well 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 look where we ended up right here with an anime classic an amazing series called high school of the dead an absolute masterpiece <laughs> Now feast your eyes on a zombie apocalypse action anime with high schoolers 
trying to find a safe haven to avoid the zombies, but also pure awesome fan service scenes that will drive you wild. It's just kind of sad that the anime will never ever continue, but in the end, I will always be so grateful to have seen a show such as this. Now, if you didn't watch High School of the Dead, you better, or I'll be paying you a visit. Now, for this anime, oh boy, imagine my dress up darling in a more different way. You have a high school boy who is a big otaku who has a manga club at school, and it so happens that another girl got interested in that club and decides to join it. She is actually really big into dressing up or cosplaying as her favorite characters or anime characters, so you know what comes next? Well, the guy becomes her personal photographer, takes photos of her cosplay, edgy stuff happens, hot moments, I think you get the drill. But yeah, give it a watch and see what you think. To Love Rue. Man, what an absolute classic right here, boys and girls. A bit of a longer harem anime series that is so damn good, you would want to stick around to find out what else it has. The protagonist, Yuki Rito, is an average high school kid who ends up with an alien girl from another planet and they must marry each other. Now, but this is only just the clue for the first season, as it has a total of four seasons. New girls will be coming to the show, a very good storyline and etchy perfection that you don't want to miss out on. Now we're nearing the end, but here we have Chained Soldier. Now everyone mainly watched this anime purely for the awesome etchy fan service it had. The anime really had potential to be good, but it was, you know, ultimately ruined thanks to the god-awful terrible CGI which made the fight scenes really bad to look at. Now a boy was sent to a different dimension and he was made into a slave to live with a bunch of girls who work in the Demon Slayer Corps. But he can actually turn into a monster, assist them in fighting, which was, you know, a pain to watch and he got rewarded in the end like a dog through etchy scenes and fan service moments. It's generic, but still not too bad. Finally to recommend the last anime on today's video list, Yushibu. This is a little bit of an older show from 2013, but trust me when I still say this, it is gorgeous to look in its animation and quality. It's the story of a hero who retired to work in an electronic store, but when he heard about a new worker coming in to join him, it turns out that she is the late daughter of the demon king whom was defeated. Now he goes around showing her the ropes and working and spending time and quality time with his new employee. Though later on, his heroic duties call for him once more when disaster is about to show up once the demon is unleashed. The end of the road of fan service has arrived, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves and save some time for the next one, I hope. Thank you all so much for watching. Do drop a like and subscribe to stay notified of all my latest uploads on YouTube, and I'll be catching you all in the next one.